to. I've been doing it coming up for three years now. Yeah, I graduated back in uh, 2019. Um, and then Hydro, been working here for about a year now. So the chemicals that you guys put in the water, how does that affect? So um, we keep the water at like optimum levels. So that's basically to keep it clean because obviously there's lots of dogs that come through. Um, and the water is recirculated through a filter, so it all goes back into the same tank. So the chemicals are put in just to keep everything as clean as possible, to kill bacteria, um, and it also makes sure that the water is sort of healthy for the dog itself, so like the pH would affect like, the eyes and things like that. So we just have to make sure that it's all really safe and for ourselves as well. So basically we have to open water and clean water treadmill, so we have to move it in loads of different conditions. So the main things we see are mostly our water, um, so it just really helps us to let the water support the joints, mm -hmm. um, improves the range of motion and sort of just yeah, maintains their movement really. We also see dogs that are obese and need sort of exercise to help with weight loss, it's a really good form just to um, improve this with cardiovascular fitness as well um, and then sometimes we see animals that do sort of weight sort of conditioning and fitness as well so like agility dogs um, sporting dogs things like that Mirror the little pug cross, um, she sort of gradually lost the use of her back legs. We were referred here um, quite a while ago just sort of to try and help build the muscle and just get her proprioception working. And she's quite an interesting case because usually dogs that can feel their back legs, they end up progressing really well. But she's almost got sort of a degenerative um, condition where she's she can feel her legs, but I think the strength that is not there for her to be able to stand up herself. So basically the water is just providing her support and obviously we hold her up as well and we move her legs for her just to try and get sort of the proprioception and um, just to try and get like her brain through the legs just to try and get them moving as best she can. Mouse used to do hydro. Um, she got to a stage where she became quite reluctant to move on the belt, so she would start sort of riding the belt back, and she just wasn't so happy. Um, so Dan had suggested that Mouse could see me just to check that she wasn't in pain, and it did happen that she was quite sore through her remaining back leg. And since she's had the physio, she's been a lot better at home as well. So it seems to work a lot more for her than the hydro did. I think the hydro was, was almost sort of pushing her in a way that she was getting tighter, if that makes sense. Um, so by releasing everything with the physio, it's more gentle. Um, so Mouse, I believe um, she had um, a condition in her leg that um, meant that I think it just had to be amputated because it was really, really good. Um, lots of dogs come in that are sort of compensating so they're moving in different ways. Say they've got an issue in their back leg, they might be pushing their weight forward. So I'll help just even them up and just make sure they're as comfortable as possible really. So she's um, younger, um, she's a lot fitter and she's definitely more of a maintenance case just to keep her back leg as fit and healthy as possible and also just to keep her forelimbs as loose as possible as well because she puts a lot of weight forward she has only got one leg um, so yeah she's more of a maintenance case just to keep her fit and well We 
he was quite a sad case he was a rescue dog and I think as a puppy she was mistreated and had broken a leg and it was left too long basically and then she had to have it removed. We both do so well with just three legs, they're wonderful to watch. <laughs> Um, so busy as well, I mostly do electrical therapy, so that's like laser, got pulse mag as well, um, do a bit of tens and muscle stim, so they're all things like they're alternative modes of pain relief, so it's quite nice because it complements what the vets already do. Mm -hmm. 